Hi violas, this video will help you practice a two octave F major and a two octave G major scale. There will be two versions of each. In one version I will show you starting in first position and shifting to third, and in the second version I will play them both entirely in third position. Hope you enjoy! Remember when you're in third position you did, cannot use open strings and you cannot go from third finger to one. It has to be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, whatever your starting note is. Just something to consider, especially if you're practicing and it doesn't sound like it's supposed to. You probably have something missing in your fingers. I mean, probably don't have missing fingers, but well, you get the idea, so. One, in third position, you use all four fingers unless you only go up to a certain finger at the top or you only start at the certain finger at the bottom. When you're in third position, the positioning of your elbow under the violin is especially important, especially if you're on the G string. My hand actually needs to swing the elbow out so that I can reach my hand all the way over to the G string. If I keep it under the violin, I really have a hard time reaching and I have really tiny little stubby fingers. So you really want to make sure when you're in third position that you've got a good curved finger shape and that your arm as you cross over to the G string comes out from underneath the violin and is going to be pointed towards your front. Violas, we're going to practice a two octave F major scale together. Before we do that, I wanted to review the key signature of F major. It has one flat, B flat, which means when you are on the G string in first position, you will use this finger pattern because that is how you play B flat with the second finger. And when you shift into third position on the D string, you will be playing A and B flat with this finger pattern. And on the A string, E, sorry, D, E, and F. So you have half steps here. I'm going to go and do two versions of the F major scale. The first one is going to be a shifted one where I start in first position and I shift a third. My shift is going to happen between F natural and G on the D string, which makes it a whole step shift. So you can watch the first time I do this and then the second time you can join me. I'm going to do it in half notes. One, two, three, four. This time, violas, get ready and join me. One, two, three, four. In this version of the F major scale, I'm going to play it entirely in third position. So just like the violin C major scale, I'm going to start on the C string, and my F is going to be a first finger, which means I will be using this finger pattern for the first octave. Then when I switch over to the upper octave, it's going to be just like it was when I shifted. So I will have G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F natural. So you use this finger pattern for the low octave and this finger pattern for the upper octave. So watch me do it first and then you can join me. 
I'm still going to play in half notes. One, two, three, four. Get ready, let's do it together. One, two, three, four. Viola, two octave G major. So for you violas, because I'm playing a violin, you're going to start on your G string and you'll end up all the way up on your A string. I'm playing the same notes as you, but I have them on different strings than you do. So just keep that in mind as you're watching my shifts that I'm not on the same string as you because you're playing a different instrument from me. So if you want to watch the first time, this is what a G major two octave sounds like. Okay, let's do that two octave G together. And violins, you're welcome to join. You can do the scale too. Get ready. In half notes. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Now we're going to work on playing a G major scale entirely in third position. So to start with, you're going to put your second finger on G on the C string. Sounds like this. And you're going to play the pattern all whole steps. So G, A, and B, as you can see, are all whole steps apart. Then I'm going to cross to the G string and play C, D, E, F sharp. And this pattern is also all whole steps and finishing with G on the D string. Let's practice doing the two octave G major scale entirely in third position. I will demonstrate and then you can do it together with me. So I'm going to start with my hand in third position on my G and here we go. Ready? Go. <laughs>
let's practice doing it together now. So get ready. Make sure that you're in third position and that you have your second finger down. We'll do the pattern of all whole steps on the low octave and then this finger pattern on the upper octave, same as when we shifted before, okay? One, two, three, four. <laughs> So I just want to take a moment and talk about my absolutely fabulous outfit that I'm wearing. So these are uh, monkey in a barrel earrings. Monkeys! And like, you can get them to like attach. Like, whoa. I even have like two sets of them. So I could like double up if I wanted to and have double monkeys, I guess. I don't know, that's kind of stupid, but whatevs. I like it. And this necklace. I made, it's an old violin bridge that a student broke a few years ago that I super glued back together and strung on a cello string. And this dress, you guys see this dress? Well, maybe you can't see it. Anyway, there's violins on the skirt. Whoa. So I've decided that I'm going to be the Miss Frizzle of orchestra. Like if the magic school bus had an orchestra edition, I'd be the teacher. Yeah! 